Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 652. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College of Sent link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 648 to 660. Hey, I have over a thousand videos at Excel, and finally, after all these years, I have a book that's coming out, Slain Excel Dragons. It's not coming out for another month, but it's already listed at Amazon. You can go check it out uh, and pre-order it if you want. There's actually a big discount. All right, 652, we want to talk about Boolean logic. Now, over the years, I've done a lot of formulas that use Boolean logic, but let's just talk explicitly about what it is. True equals 0, false equals, I'm sorry, true equals 1, false equals 0 for all of computers, in essence, uh, but Boolean too. And when we do Boolean logic or math, and is going to be multiplying, and or is going to be plus, meaning and. When we do logical tests like uh, the product is Carlota and it's in the northwest region, both of those have to be true. So you say that's true and that's true. Or could say something like it's either Carlota product or it's in the northwest region. That would be or logic. Only one of them has to be true. Uh, to come out to be true, and you use plus for those, right? If the calculation results in a non-zero number, the answer is true. That means any number besides zero, negative a million, five, ones, everything except for zero is true in uh, Excel and the Boolean logic we're going to be using. If it's zero, it's false. Now. Here's AND Boolean logic and OR Boolean logic. Really, this is we've done so many formulas like this. It's just like a little m table you can have to remember all the key points, right? When you're doing AND, there's only one way you can get a true, and that's when they're both true. So true times true equals 1 times 1 equals 1 equals true. If there's a true times false, or a, a false times true, or a false times false, all of them come out to be 0, because anything times 0 is 0. With OR, it's different, though. If you have a true and a true and you're adding, you get a 2, which is true. If you have a true and a false, it's 1 plus 0. It's still 1, so it's true. False plus true still comes out to be true. The only time you get false with OR, when you have two criteria in this example here, is when you have false and a false. So then 0, time, zero plus 0 is 0. Now let's go look at an example. We'll do AND first. Now, we could easily use the AND function or IF or other things, but we want to just see how Boolean works. So I'm going to, in uh, parentheses, equals parentheses, I'm going to say the this product name, when that's equal to, and I'm going to click on the assumptions. I'm going to hit F4 key to lock it, lock in front of the row reference. Now, that'll give us, that's just a logical formula. By the way, all of this. Boolean over here, we use it in logical formulas or array formulas. Our first example is just logical formula, but this is just a straight comparative operator, right? What we really want is AND. We want to say, is the product uh, Carlota and is it um, in region northwest? So I'm going to hit F2 and I'm going to do times, and then the region northwest that's equal to this. And I'm going to lock this one going down. Now I'm going to control enter to populate this column. Notice the only time we get a 1, which in essence means true, is when it's this is true and this is true. Here, false, false, or 0, 0. True, false, false, true. All right, now OR is different. And notice we use multiplying here. OR is different. We Actually, I'm going to scoop this out like this. Copy, Escape, put it into Edit Mode, Control V, and I'm going to use a plus here. Control Enter, double click and send it down. So here we get there's a true there, so it's at least one is true. Here we had a true here, at least one here. Neither one of them are true, so that's the only situation where the OR, when it has two criteria, false, false, you get a 0. And here, you get a 2. And you know, if you were to put this kind of formula into an IF logical test argument, IF would understand it, because IF knows that any number that's not 0 is true. 
Now let's look at a, these are logical formulas here. We easily could have done something uh, different. How about, how about uh, we'll copy this and paste this over here. Make it a little bit smaller. And I want to try um, three. How about three? I'm going to cheat. I'm going to scoop this out and just add one to it. Escape, Control V. And I'm going to add times. And then the sales have to be greater than or equal to our hurdle. And then F4. Now, this is and with three. Right? Has to be true, true, true. One times one times one. That's the only situation where to get one, and sure enough, there it is. All the other ones give us at least one zero. So true, 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 one times one times one is, is one. All right, now let's come down here. You know, I get this t in 2007. I've just had this terrible problem. Sometimes the, the names show up. Sometimes they don't. When I have uh, use center across selection, I guess it's a glitch. It never happened in earlier versions. All right, let's do it in an array formula. Now, lots of ways we could do this particular um, question here. I want Sioux and California. I want to add all the sales. We'll start off with one we used many times here, some product. Some product can handle two. Or actually, we could use, um, in 2007 and 2010, we use uh, some ifs, but I'm going to show you some product just because it will explicitly, when we run formula evaluator, show uh, Boolean logic. So the first array, and I'm going to have some trues and falses, and I need to convert them to ones and zeros. So I'm going to use double negative to convert the trues and falses to double to ones and zeros. Click in that cell, Control Shift down arrow. Whenever that is equal to sue. Now that'll give us a series of trues and falses. If I hit F9, you can see the trues and falses. It control Z. If I um, highlight the double negative and hit F9, there's ones and zeros. Control Z. Now I'm going to type a comma. Here's the first array, comma. And what's great about some products is it will multiply arrays. So I'm going to do double negative, and I'm going to say anything in this column here for region when that's equal to this. Close parentheses, close parentheses, control enter. Now that means we're counting here, so that's one uh, sale. We'll do the sales in just a moment. Let's run formula evaluator. Formula evaluator is somewhere like formula tab, formula auditing, and then evaluate formula off to the side here. You can't see it here, but I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt T U F. So here we get to evaluate, enter, 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 enter. It gives us those ones and zeros, enter, enter, enter. Whoops. Oh, it's not going to show us. Oh, isn't that a shame? Well, I'll have to do it this way then. No, actually, we will not get it to, to show here e either. But here, I can go like this, F9, and then I can go like this, F Oops, not the comma F. Now, the Boolean here is 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 0. And then these are all, all 0. It's not till we get right here, the second to last one, the penultimate one. 1 times 1 is 1. So that's why we get the only. Uh, only the answer of one, so the count is one. But all of this inside the sum product is Boolean logic. Now let's add another um, array to this. I'm going to click at the end and type comma. And then we can uh, highlight that, that range right there. 398. Now I'm going to change this. We're going to change this to uh, SW. And then uh, we know formula evaluator won't do it, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight it just to see the Boolean, because this is, we saw just the ones and zeros, right? But now we want to, I'm going to hit F9. 
I'm going to hit F9. By the way, hitting F9 is deadly. Once you hit it twice in a row, you can't hit Enter. You have to click Escape, or it will hard code that in. And finally, we have this right here, F9. So what's happening here is it's going 0 times 0 times 183 is 0. So sometimes we have part of our array that's not um, a 1 or a 0. And that's how we can add with uh, criteria here. I think we have one right here. No. So, okay, so the second one, 1 times 1 times the second one here, third one here, 269, and then finally one here, 1 times 1 times whatever that is. You get the idea. Boolean logic. All right, there's, there's lots of other ways you could do this. Of course, you could um, copy and put it here. And instead of uh, some product. Some people do it this way. You really don't have to, and it's better probably due to some product uh, instead of this way. But some people do it this way. And they learned years ago to do it this way, and they still do it. What's happening here explicitly is we're multiplying these. Some product that we did up here does that without using without any, doing anything fancy. But here, inside the sum function, you can do it. It will multiply just like it did up here, but we can't just hit enter when we hit this formula. We have to control shift and enter because it's an array formula. All right, uh, that's just a little bit about Boolean math, Boolean logic. We'll see you next trick.